here we go. So, we're going to do this real quick chat, okay? This is also going to be a YouTube video. If you're here live uh, in the comments section of YouTube, say I was here, okay? So, actually, I am going to move this up here. We're going to move this back up here because the chat's down below. Okay, so, welcome YouTube to the video. Today, we're going to be ranking all of the Valheim weapons throughout the biomes one by one. Let's go. All right, starting off. We have the Wooden Club. Now, I know what you're saying. And here's the thing I need you guys to consider. Okay? The weapons in each biome, comparatively, are going to get progressively worse. Right? So, like, if I was like, oh, this S tier, you'd be like, you're an idiot. The damage is, like, way too low compared to, like, the Krom. Right? So I, I hear what you're saying, and that is why I'm going to do it by biome, okay? We could, we could have an overall list, and here, here's why I'm doing this, right? If I do just an overall list, the Mislin weapons are going to be all S tier, right? Because you can't bring the club into the Mislins. You're going to get smoked, right? So that's, that's the point I'm trying to make. This is why we're doing it per biome. Because these weapons are strong in their own biomes. And some of these are stronger in the next biome. So, like, it's, it's a little bit of personal preference. But I'm also taking into consideration how strong they are in their given biomes, okay? So, this isn't, like, a tier list of just the best weapons. It's the weapons comparative to their biomes, okay? How strong they are for when they're created, okay? So, you know... Because I'm going to put it out there. The club's S tier. Okay? The, I, like, I told you we were going to start spicy. And we are we got some spice. Okay? The club is S tier. And here is why. When you make this level 3. Okay? And all you need is more wood. I mean, you make this off the rip. Right? You spawn in to the island. You grab a couple sticks. And all of a sudden you're like, let me make a club. Okay? You make your workbench. Okay, you kill some boars, you kill some deer, you get some flint. You upgrade your workbench to level three with your skin rack, right? Your tanning rack, sorry, and your uh, like your flint, like upgrade whatever that is, right? It's literally just flint, stones, and sticks, right? And then you go to the black forest. Sometimes you don't even have to go to the Black Forest. You can run around the meadows, find those little structures that have, like, bone piles. You loot those up, and you get bone fragments, and that's all this guy needs is more wood and bone fragments. This guy at level 3 is, like, two tapping skeletons, maybe three tapping. When you get this thing to max level, and then you go into the next biome, because this is the thing, right? This is my point. This is a Meadows weapon. This is the first weapon you can make when you spawn in. You max this weapon and you bring it into the Black Forest, you are an absolute menace to the skeletons. You're a menace. If you get a parry off, it's literally like two tapping skeletons. It's insane. It's so strong for what it is and what it needs to create, okay? Because again, this is another point I'm going to be making throughout this video is a lot of these weapons require grinding, right? When we get to weapons like in the Mislins, like this spear here, for example, this thing you have, you need the mandibles. So you have to kill the Seeker soldiers. Those dudes are not easy to kill. This is like a demanding weapon to make, okay? So when you compare that to the club that needs wood and bone fragments, and let me tell you, you're going to be getting plenty of bone fragments from absolutely demolishing all of the guys that you get, right? Like, all of these skeletons are just... You're just going to be leaving skeletons in your wake. So you're going to have plenty of bone fragments to upgrade this. The club is S tier. Like, that's it. If you disagree... And, and here's, here's a point I'm going to make, too. If you agree, disagree, or have a counterpoint, or, like, just have points that want to be made, let me know in the comments. Again, like, these videos are, like, great to make because it's an open discussion, and that's why I'm doing it on stream, too. I can do this again, and that's why I'm doing it now, so we can establish a baseline, right? And then when Ashlands comes out, we do it again, 
And if that dialogue is open to where you're getting in the comments section, you're you're coming into the live stream, you're like, hey man, you're putting this at S tier, you're off your rocker, stop playing the game. Uh, we can have that conversation, right? And then when Ashlands comes out, we play with the weapons around a little bit, we come back to this. Maybe we make some revisions, okay? I'm open to talk about it, but right now, the club's S tier, okay? Joining it is the bow, okay? I'm I'm a spear gamer, okay? I'm a flint spear gamer. When I get into a new game of, uh, of Valheim, I almost said Minecraft. When I get into a new game of Valheim, I make the spear, okay? But the bow, when you go from using the bow, or you go from just like hunting animals, right? And then you make the bow, the weight that is lifted off your shoulders from using this weapon is... It, it, it it's it's insane it it is like an immense amount of pressure that you don't you didn't know was there until you built the bow right this thing is good right we're talking as long as you're good right this is this this entire thing is user error right if you're good with the bow you're having a great valheim experience right this thing's insane okay We're talking like you're trying to get animals, right? That like the Meadows grind is like top tier Valheim. I'm telling you right now. The Meadow, like the first two biomes, IMO, are like the prime Valheim experience, right? Because your weapons like aren't super killer, but like these initial weapons you make like, fundamentally make the game so much more fun because they're so impactful all in their own way. And it's a fantastic introduction to what's to come, right? Because these are all baseline weapons, right? Your Meadows Age and then your Bronze Age with the Black Forest are literally, like, setting the foundation of what's to come for the entire game. And then just as you progress, they get way cooler and way stronger and then you start like fine tuning what your play style is for the game and it's it's insane right so i the meadows and the black forest for me are very very important and i think the bow sets the great example of ranged ability it, it kind of gives you an idea of how powerful sneak damage is like surprise damage it's insane the bow's s tier man i mean like you know, like, especially even if you go into the dungeon, again, a black forest, you're still hunting stuff in the black forest, right? If you got gray dwarves or gray links in the distance, you hit them with a bow, right? You now got trolls, these massive dudes that will one tap you if you're not prepared. And like, if you're coming right from the meadows into the black forest and you're running into a troll, dude, like, you're done. I don't know what to tell you. So like, unless you're an absolute like madman, but a great way around that. It's just using the bow. Just use the bow. Like, it's insane. Uh, I'm just making sure this is... Okay, cool, we're showing. So, you got bows S tier, okay? Because then you got different arrows, too. You could use this base bow with, like, Mislin's arrows. And do still do, like, great damage, right? Like, the bow's S tier, okay? Um, so, here we go, right? Now we got the flint axe. I gotta keep it a buck. This is a C tier weapon. Okay. And here's the thing. Okay. I'm not I'm not trying to be too hard on it. I'm being hard on it. It's a D tier weapon. Okay. And here's why. It's a tool. Okay? It's a tool. And that's just how it be. Tools are gonna go in the D tier because Sure, they're okay weapons, but it's not its main job. You're not building the flint axe to then go murder mobs. You're not. You're building the flint axe so you can go get some more wood, so you can make the club to then go mess up some dudes. Okay? It's tool. It's D tier. Try, go, go ahead. Load up a Valheim game, make the flint axe, and then go try to fight stuff and let me know if you're having fun. Because I'm going to tell you, you're not. You're not. It, it doesn't do damage. Like, it doesn't do great damage. 
the combo sometimes just doesn't trigger. The secondary attack is literally just for chopping wood. It is a straight up and down attack that is made for chopping wood. It is a tool, not a weapon. It's D tier. We're moving on. Okay. Now I'm going to say. Because I had just talked about tools being in D tier, the flit knife goes in C tier. Okay. This is my least favorite weapon in the game. I have to be completely transparent with y'all. The worst weapon in the game for me, IMO. Okay? It heavily revolves around backstab damage. It the the range of this weapon is absolutely abysmal. Okay? You have to get so close with this weapon. And here's the thing with Valheim, okay? The enemies move around all of the time, okay? It's it's not like a turn-based game where everybody's in the same spot and then they attack and one guy doesn't move and the other guy runs up and attacks him. No. These, the, the enemies are literally coded to fight you and then run away. Like, they have, a lot of them have, like, ranged abilities. So, like, they attack you and then run away, use their ranged ability, and then run up and attack you again. When you have to get two inches from their face to then slash them with the knife, it's not a fun experience. It doesn't do a lot of damage. It's got a really fast attack rate, but it needs something because it's trash, okay? It's trash. And I will say, I will say, I'm going to be, I'm fully honest here, okay? I haven't used this a lot, okay? I haven't used it a lot because I haven't had the want to. And that's going to, like, again, this is why this tier list is, like, all of, like, my opinion. Like, it's an opinion-based tier list, right? Because, like, somebody's going to put this in S tier. They're going to be like, dude, you make troll armor, you upgrade your sneak, you walk up behind him, you one-tap him. Sure. Yeah. And, and that, if that works for you, send it, man. I got to tell you, when I got other weapons, like, when I could just, like, hit this dude with a spear or hit this dude with a bow and then run up and just whack him in the mouth with a club and call it a day, we're chilling. And another thing that's going to come into factor that I need to talk about this with this one, because this next this next weapon is also going to take this. It is controlling. It's, it's crowd control. OK, it's crowd control. In Valheim. There is a lot of times where you're going to be fighting multiple enemies at once. This became very apparent to me when I started my own hardcore Valheim run. Okay? I'm not talking about the like the permadeath one. I just was messing with the um the presets, okay? And me and a buddy of mine, shout out the homies, started a hardcore Valheim run, right? You don't lose all of your stuff because uh, we're not doing that, okay? We've died like 700 times maybe uh, collectively. It's not one-sided at all, okay? We've uh, given take, we've given taken deaths, okay? Uh, and if we had just lost all of that stuff, we wouldn't be having, be having fun. So uh, the way we're doing it is uh, resource rate is times two, I believe, or times three. Uh, there's no restriction on portals, uh, raids happen more, and enemies are the hardest difficulty, okay? Upping that difficulty is insane, okay? These enemies being able to take more hits and deal more damage is insane. When you first load up your hardcore Valheim run, you're gonna have a Grey Dwarf throw a rock at you, and it's gonna, like, put you to 1 HP, and you're gonna be like, this is a different game, okay? If you haven't tried it out, I recommend it, because it's very humbling. Okay, but upping the raid amount made it painfully apparent of how critical having a wide range of attack radius for a weapon, because I'm going to tell you, I was using the spear. And when I had initially made this video, I made this video and just did the uh, just did the meadows list. And I had the spear in S tier. And I gotta tell you, it's going down. Now, this is a hard one. Um, 
I'm putting it in A tier. I, I and the what I'm saying is it's the difference between A and B tier. I think for the meadows, the flint spear is A tier. And here's my defense, okay? It would be S tier, but the single target damage of this weapon, the single target restriction of this weapon is so bad. Because when you're getting raided, right? You got like six gray dwarves coming at you. You got a brute who's just swinging at you. Those dudes attack so fast. And you got a shaman that's just sitting there popping heals for the whole team. My man's playing the support role for the gray dwarves. And we're out here just trying to survive and protect our home base where we lay our heads at night, right? Like, dude, my house is made of wood. I have to put a fire next to my head so I don't freeze to death. And you're out here attacking my home. Like, come on, man. You know? The single target attack of this weapon is its downfall. And uh, that's another reason why the knife is so low. Is not being able to attack multiple enemies at once is so bad, man. It's so bad. When you then go to, like, a sword that you could just swing and hit, like, four people at the same time... You then are like, oh, why am I using this weapon? But to give the spear the benefit of the doubt, it's pierce damage. Pierce damage for the meadows and black forest, solid. All the animals, shredded. Trolls, shredded. It's their weakness. It's going to be a solid weapon. And again, I use this weapon in place of the bow for the first two parts of the game. For the first two biomes, the complete two biomes of the game, probably going into... Uh, Maybe a little bit into the swamp. I'm using the spear. Again, it's an easy upgrade. It's flint. It's wood. Call it a day. Right? You're throwing this bad Larry. It, like, if you upgrade it, it one-taps stuff when you throw it. Right? You get a one-star, two-star deer. If you got a one-star, two-star spear, and you're throwing that, it's one-tapping it. GG. It's a solid weapon. But its single target really hurts it. But... For the meadows, or yeah, for the meadows and black forest, it's A tier. It's A tier. And I know I I know I know I'm going, I'm trying to go from biome to biome. And like it like if it was just meadows, this thing's S tier. Like it's solid, right? But even with it just being the meadows, like the raids, you become painfully aware of how hard it is to try and kite enemies when you have a mob chasing you. And you're trying to single target them with the spear, dude. It's rough. I, like I'm, I'm seriously debating a B tier. But like, the pierce damage and like being able to throw it, I, I'm, I'm gonna leave it A tier. It's a solid weapon. Okay. Now we're moving to the stag breaker. Okay. I and again, I have to be, I have to be fully transparent. I don't like the AOE weapons in this game. They're very strong, and I know I was just talking about, like, how powerful hitting multiple enemies is, but, like, these weapons lose so much damage for the reason that it's a full 360 AoE, right? I believe it's a full 360 AoE. That might not be true, but I'm gonna say this is our, oh, is it Asp? Okay, it's B tier, and here's why, right? You bring this in, right? It's a, it's, it's a boss weapon. It's dope as hell, right? You just killed Ikther, and now you can make this weapon, the Stag Breaker. Let's go, right? Here And here's my rule of thumb for Valheim. If a weapon has a name other than what it is, it's good, right? Like, and that's why, like, when we got to Meadows and st stuff stopped having, like, names like it wasn't just the sword anymore like now it's the crom like when it has names that's when you know you're getting into some real business right but the stag breaker falls off because it's just it's not enough damage right you're using a lot of stamina and just not dealing enough damage don't get me wrong like the strength and why it's at the middle of the pack is because you can just run in and just like hold a door corner and just start slamming and like you got your safe, right? And that's really strong, but like comparatively so, 
dog, the club's better. So, like, how are we going to talk about a higher than A tier weapon or higher than B tier weapon? Especially this being a boss weapon. When this, like, when I got a club that can just two tap something, right? Uh, I don't like that I can. I don't know if I like the vocals. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it's underwhelming. I wish the stag breaker was stronger, but I think its downfall is the fact that it is a like slam weapon. Uh, and they're just they're not that good IMO. So B tier, it it has its it has its moments. Um, I want I'm gonna change this. We're gonna do DMCA free instrumental. Here we go. Thank you. I don't want the words. Um, yeah, slam weapons are just they're just not it. I'm sorry. Uh, but let me see what these are actually called because I just keep calling them slam weapons. Uh, and they definitely have a name. Two-handed clubs, okay? They're called two-handed clubs. Uh, they're just not it for me, chat. They're just not it. Uh, they could be better, okay? Uh, again, Axe, we don't need to talk about this anymore. It's D-tier. It's a tool. It's better than this, sure. Like, I'll do this, right? I'll do this. Like, it's better. Oh, yeah, and let me, let me preface, too. We are going to be doing, uh, like... The order matters, okay? So, like, I did this. The order matters in each category. So, like, this is stronger than this, okay? And that's gonna be the case for some of these because, again, like, when I get to Mislin's weapons, like, the Krom's better than the fucking shit, right? Like, this is, this is still S tier, right? But, uh, again, take it into consideration with each biome, okay? Um, and I'll, and I'll show you kind of how I'm doing that, okay? So, here's this, right? It's a tool. It's D tier. We don't got to talk about it anymore. Now, another spicy take. The torch. I'm going to put it in B tier. And here's why. It's one thing of it being fire. And that Grey Dwarves, Greylings, and animals are afraid of fire. Makes this a usable weapon. Right? If I'm running through the Black Forest... Or I'm running through the meadows and I come across a squawk of enemies, right? If I'm trying to run home, I just looted a bunch of stuff. I'm low on HP. I'm trying to just run home. And all of a sudden I come across like a boar stone and there's like six boar. One of them's two star. One of them's got a knife. Like, I'm just dead, right? Wrong. You pull out your, f your flame torch. You see a little better. And they run away from you. They don't like fire. Like, dude. And then if you hit them with it, they light on fire and take fire damage. It's not a great weapon, right? Like, but the fact that, like, I have to get super close to the knife for this to be effective, but I can just pull this out and they run away from me, is B tier. Middle of the pack, right? It's middle of the pack. It's not underwhelming. It's a torch. You know it's not going to do a bunch of damage, but it's a torch. And the fact that it does have more value than just showing you light, that's B tier. That's a great weapon, okay? No more discussions. Now we break into the Black Forest, okay? That was Meadows. This is where we're at. Uh, and honestly, a pretty solid spread. Like, looking at this, this makes sense, right? 2-1-2-1-2. Two, one, two, one, two. This is great. Like, the symmetry is great. My OCD is loving this, Okay? That's the meadows, okay? If you agree, disagree, let me know, okay? Now we're in the Black Forest. This is when we get into the Copper Age, okay? And again, this is when you really start seeing what some of these weapons are capable of, okay? And so I, okay, and I'm going to preface again. I'm going to not put them above this because I want to keep the biome separated a little bit, okay? And what I mean by this is, like, the Akir is S tier, but I'm not putting it above these. I'm putting it here um, so we can keep the separation from each biome, okay? The Bronze Akir, and I'm going to say this, IMO, two-handed weapons are some of the best weapons in the game. The Akir is the best two-handed weapon 
tight. That's it, right? Like, it's the best. You have your main attack, which is a three-hit combo with stupid range, right? It's a pull arm. So this thing is made to have insane range, right? Its hit registry is fantastic. It's not like the spear where, like, you have a little... Like, the spear has no range, right? The, the spear is, like, five feet long, but you're holding it at, like, where the spearhead is, right? You're, like, trying to poke them in the eye instead of holding it, like, all the way back like you do with the polearm, right? The polearm's phenomenal. It gives you great range. It's got the three-hit combo. Or the secondary attack is a 360 spin, right? And again, one of my points is being able to attack multiple targets at once, dealing with crowds, right? It's got a 360 spin. So if you're getting swarmed, bro, you Beyblade it up and you're chilling, right? But here's my other point, right? And here's why, let alone range, here's why the at gear is like top. The AoE spin stuns. It stuns and staggers on hit. So you're telling me I can run up to any enemy, Beyblade it up, and now I'm dealing stagger damage? Which is like double if not triple damage? That's insane! This weapon, for that ability alone, throws in an S tier. This thing could have the range of a spear, but if you could 360, or like even if you just like stagger them, like you're going to see a common trend with my tier list here, that staggering, being able to stagger enemies boosts this up to the top. Because being able to hit critical stagger damage in this game, totally different. Like, that's why, like, bucklers are insane, right? You have your tower shield versus the buckler. Being able to parry and deal stagger damage is insane in this game. It is so strong, okay? And the Akir can just do that. The Akir could just do it and also just, like, clear anything around you, right? The weapon's S-tier, man. Like, I, I don't understand how somebody could, di like, argue this. Like, sure, maybe, like, because it's two-handed, you can't hold a shield. But, dude, the block power of this thing is good. Like, I've mainly run this weapon, and, like, you run it with a tank build. You just max out... The, like, the best armor you can get, get a bunch of health, get a bunch of armor, and you're chilling. You just block them, and sometimes you parry them. Like, you go for the parry, you deal some stagger damage with the three pokes, they're still not parried, Beyblade it, they're staggered again, finish them off. Pause. You know what I'm saying? It's S tier. No further questions. Now we have this bronze axe, and here's where Valheim starts to take a turn okay because some sometimes sometimes this game does this where you have two-handed axes here right but then you have an axe so the bronze era the bronze age doesn't have another two-handed weapon right the bronze has the Akir, and there's your two-handed weapon if this axe was two-handed, it would have been right up there with S tier, right? And and I and I think that's why I get why they didn't do it because it would just be competing too much with the axe here, right? So, and and like the axe isn't bad, and I know I said all tools go here, but I gotta tell you, it's not bad. And here's why I'm putting it in C tier: is yes, it's a tool, like it's not made to fight. But it being slash damage in the Black Forest, again, take into consideration we are in the Black Forest. Grey Dwarves and Graylings are weak to slash damage. This axe is good, right? It's going to be a little bit better than these other tools. And, like, it's bronze. It's going to hit a little harder. I'm putting it in C tier, okay? And I know I'm kind of breaking things with this, uh, but it's C tier. It's, it's a little bit better, okay? Just because it's the biome it's in. This is the only time we're probably going to see this. And again, consider the biome, right? You got dudes who are made out of wood and you're carrying around an axe. It's going to be a little bit better, okay? Moving on. 
We have the spear. Okay, bronze spear. Again, I, this one's going down to B tier, and here's why, right? Again, we got single target attacks. When you're in the Black Forest, especially at nighttime, you're going to start dealing with more and more crowds, okay? A single target weapon is not going to be it. Again, the only reason this isn't any lower, being able to throw the weapon is very strong, but also having to retrieve it's pretty trash. It attacks pretty fast. The, the, the pierce damage for, like, trolls is solid. But when you're trying to compare this to an at gear, when you're comparing this to some of the top S tier weapons in this biome, the spear's not going to be the move. And honestly, I'm debating this. The spear ain't it, man. I'm putting it at C tier. The spear ain't it. Because now you're getting a stronger bow. Like, dude, the range is okay. But, like, man, like, you're going to start dealing with more and more crowds. This thing ain't it. One on one, like, one on one, A tier. Maybe S tier. Being able to throw this weapon. Do you know what? I'll leave it be. I'll leave it be. Because 1v1ing with this weapon is solid. You can throw it at them. Like, there's a lot of times where, like, I was using this and I would kite. And, like, I would only throw it. I wouldn't attack, right? Like, you throw it, you run over, you pick it up, you run. You throw it, run over, pick it up, run, right? I debated in my hardcore run running Fenris armor with a spear and a buckler, right? You got a bunch of movement. You got you could parry and then, like, stab them a bunch. It's not bad. But, again, that's very single target oriented, right? And that's the thing with the buckler, too. You're, you're taking block damage to then parry. You're starting to really narrow what you can attack against right if i have a tower shield i can just sit and block it doesn't matter how many enemies are attacking me i'm gonna block the damage and then you can talk about like stamina and stuff like that sure but like the buckler is made to be parrying it's target it's single target oriented right you're parrying so you can stagger them so then you can get staggered damage sure you could parry them to then run away sure but we're talking we're doing a weapon tier list we're talking about attacking and the spear in that regard for single target isn't bad. You could throw it to clear the distance. You run over, you grab it, you stab them. It's okay, it's B tier. Middle of the pack, it's a fine weapon. Now, when we talk about swords, this is the first time we see a sword in the game. And you immediately are like, dude, this weapon's S tier. It's S tier. It's still one-handed, so you can use a shield. If you want to use the buckler to get more parry damage, go for it. If you want to use a tower shield so you can just soak the damage, go for it, okay? But this thing has the AoE we need of being able to slice multiple enemies at once, right? Its secondary attack is a stab poke that does pretty good damage. And if you're doing sneak... Or you're, they're parried, right? And they, they're staggered. And you go for that stab. Bro, that's big damage. That's big damage. The sword's S tier. Like, it, it, it hits on every point we've brought up. It's got great solo target. Being one-handed so you can have a shield. But also, like, the stab that... I think the stab can hit more than one. But it's predominantly for a single target, right? It's for backstab. It's for sneak. It's you parried them, you're getting, like, max damage, you're stabbing them, right? It's got good range. Like, you don't have to be super close for this. And I'm, and I'm disregarding, uh, like, I'm taking into consideration, like, a little bit of, like, oh, excuse me. Valheim has an issue with the game, and I'm going to say issue lately, where, like, the, the terrain can really mess you up right? If they're a little bit higher than you or a little bit lower than you, like on a hill or something, you're going to have a hard time connecting your shots. And that comes into factor a lot with the spears because it's so close range. Like if you're just not on the same level, the game has a hard time registering it. Okay. And the sword doesn't really have that issue that much. The Accu has more of the issue with the sword because it's a poke more than a swing. So like it's slashing through the air is solid. Do I think the sword's better than the Akir? No. Being able to stagger whenever you want is so strong. Like, 
it, it's it's so strong the base attack and again to consider the sword's base attack will be hitting multiple enemies where the accurate won't like it's a poke and pokes are more single target oriented um but it's close man the swords are close like it's a solid weapon it's s here like whether it's here whether it's like here or here we could debate that right bottom line it's s here like we can sit here and debate it all you want it's s tier dog okay I think I'm fine with it here. I think I'm putting it here. I'm going to keep it a buck. And here's why. Okay. When like We're now in the Bronze Age, right? So we're now talking about actual weapons, right? We're not talking clubs and sticks, right? We're not talking about scraping pennies to try to make a weapon, right? We got bronze, okay? We just, we melted, we mined, and then smelted copper. We trucked through waters to get tin, right? And we got a two-to-one ratio. We have the worst ratio in the game, the entire game, right? Two copper to one uh, tin, right? It's terrible. It's a terrible ratio, right? I'm not making a knife, right? Like, I just spent all that time mining and smelting. Dude, I'm not making a knife. Sure, it might take, like, a quarter or a half of the resources necessary for these weapons but dude why am i running up and stabbing somebody probably whiffing a bunch and using all this stamina when i could just buy an ack gear man when i could just make an ack gear like comparatively so we're now talking about like top tier weapons we're talking pole arms we're talking swords okay this little knife ain't it it ain't it like, and especially with the fact that, like, later in the game, Valheim implemented, like, these shorter-range weapons having lunges. I don't think this has it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like, let me know if this has a lunge. Because then maybe it goes to here. But again, at the end of the day, dog, it's bad. And, like, and I'm not trying to knock if this is your playstyle, right? If your playstyle is sneak damage or speed... And you get up close, you hit him a bunch of times, you leave, or you're kiting him so you're always getting that backstab damage. This thing might be really strong. I've never gave, I've never, and like, you know, I'm I, I'm reflecting now. I've never really given a full sneak build a try. And maybe that's my, maybe that's my downfall. Maybe I give it a try and I'm like, dude, you know? But for the time being, we're here, dog. Like, because again, like to the point of sneak damage, it's a play style and I get that. It's not my play style. And the idea of having to put effort into sneaking, like, you know, losing armor to gain sneak damage, and then, you know, having to sneak up and then hope for a backstab hit, like, there's a lot that can go wrong there. And if that's your main game, that's stressful, man. Like, that's a lot of work when I could just be... I could just be swinging. Right? I could just be swinging, man. I could just be running in, like, just going for it, right? So, uh, yeah, it's it's D tier. Uh, and then the mace here, it's interesting because this mace is very solid. And the reason I'm putting it A tier is bludgeon weapons are very good. And here's the hard thing with the game, right? Here's the thing. When you talk about a game like this with Valheim, where there's a lot of different weapons... And there's a system in the game where enemies are resistant and or weak to certain types, right? All of these weapons are strong in their own right, right? Like, sure, I can bring an ag gear to a skeleton. A mace is going to be better. Like, I can like the ag gear all I want, but if I'm getting raided by a skeleton... I'm probably going to switch to a bludgeon weapon, man. So, like... And that's why, like, you know, I've... I normally don't run too many weapons. When I play the game, I run maybe two to three weapons, right? Like, my late game right now, on my main, I'm a mage. Um, but, like, on my other one, I'm running a crom. Uh, and I'm running a spear. And... I'm running maybe the Frostner, right? 
So I have three different weapons. I have Pierce, I have Slash, and I have Bludgeon. And I have Spirit with the Frostner, right? Uh, like, I see, I, I've seen that. And I honestly recommend that, that you have a lot in your hot bar. Or, like, you just have a decent inventory size, right? Run multiple weapons. Like, it's only going to be better. It's more fun to learn the other play styles. But also, like, don't... Like, these weapons are good. Especially if you're using the weapons in the biome they're intended for. Or before. Really, if you're taking Mislin's weapons into the planes, you're big chilling, dude. Why would you hinder yourself on using weapons that are just better in this situation? And again, like... If you just really like running the act gear, dog, run the act gear. Like, you're going to be fine, right? But again, like, if you're going to, like, breeze through an enemy because they're weaker to a certain attack class or attack type, then do it, right? And the blood, like, the, the bronze mace does that, man. Like, you build the bronze, like, the, and again, like, the club's solid, but dude, this mace hits, right? You're now just absolutely, like, dominating skeletons. Like, they don't stand a chance. And again, single hand, you can run a, a buckler, parry, you're one-tapping these idiots, bro. Like, this mace hits. You're also now going into the swamp after this, right? You're gonna need this for the oozes. Like, and this thing's gonna demo them. You got skeletons, you got, uh certlings coming up and you have oozes that this thing is going to absolutely decimate right there's only like three other enemies in the swamp which would be uh like the the ghosts um i'm also like counting ghosts for the wraiths right which i think the mace is also pretty good for so i mean okay you're it's literally just the the draugers and the uh I call them the Trevidants. The Draugers and the, um, what the heck is that thing called? The Root. What are the, what are the Root enemies? Why am I spacing on this? What are they called, chat? Call me out here. Uh, what are they called? Creatures, aggressive creatures. What are these guys called? Abominations. Thank you. Um, like, the Abominations, like, sure, they need slash damage. But, like, again, like, the majority of the enemies you're going to be coming across in the Black Forest and in the Swamp, this mace is going to carry you. You just use this mace max level until you can get iron. But honestly, you max this, you're probably fine. You could take bone mass with this thing, right? Like, this thing's solid. Especially when fighting bone mass, right? So, again, I focus on this. This is... So, okay, and this is fair to think about, right? Like, I'm doing this per per biome. If you're thinking of... Uh, see, now I gotta think of this. Now I gotta think of this. Because, like, I'm grading this per biome. I might be kind of going against my own system talking about the next biome. Because, honestly, like, if I'm talking meadows, this thing's A tier, right? Like, it's not as good. You're not running into as many skeletons. Ooh, it's hard to say. Now, I, I, I'm going to say at least for the next biome, because think about it like this, right? You're built like you're going to build the weapons and you're going to use them for the next biome. Like you need them to like segue into getting the materials you need to then get the weapons for that biome. And like, let me explain that a little bit. Like, so you're in the black forest. You just made this mace, right? You're not going to instantly have the iron mace when you get to the swamp. You have to mine a little bit. You're going to have to fight. You're going to be using this. And it's good. And that's the point I'm trying to make here. Like, So sure, this is per biome. But I am going to consider the next biome. Because if you build a weapon. And it's not good for the next biome. Like sure, it's good for that biome. But the weapon itself is kind of ass, man. Like if you, if you have to only use it for that biome. Like I don't know, man. That seems like it's not that good of a weapon. So I might be going against my own idea here of how good weapons are and here's a point i'm going to make i'm going to have separate videos for short form content okay so i have like this main video that is like going to be the very in-depth like this is a long video it's very in-depth with each of my decisions right it's a talkie it's a very i'm yapping this dude's just yapping right uh but i'm trying to be as 
detailed as I can with this. My shorter form videos might not be the same as this one, okay? Um, and that is because I mainly might focus more on per biome. So like when I make that video, this might be A tier and it might not be S tier. And that's because like for just the Meadows biome, it's not that great, right? If I brought this into the next biome, it's S tier. And that's why it's S tier here because I'm kind of looking for a little bit more longevity of these weapons, which again is probably counterintuitive because I'm not bringing this into the Meadows, but or I'm not bringing this into the Missilins, right? So like maybe my foundation of how I'm doing this is a little bit bad um but we'll see I, I i might i might just mirror that way like if people want to see uh like oh why did you put this in s tier or why did you put this in a tier then they come to this video and it's an s tier like they're like wait what so I, but i will have shorter form content talking about this and i i think i actually now think about it i am just gonna mirror what i have here so never mind that anyway uh a fine wood bow for the black forest solid weapon um I'm going to say A tier. The reason I think this isn't S tier, it's really hard to compare these weapons to this. This might be an S tier weapon. I'm going to say it's an S tier weapon, and here's why. This is kind of crucial for the Elder, okay? I want to consider, because like when we're talking biomes, sure... The mobs are the main point, but you got to think about that boss, man. And I've learned now from experience going into the elder fight without a ranged weapon, going into a lot of the boss fights without ranged weapons, like hinders you so bad, right? You are at a severe disadvantage if you do not have a ranged weapon, right? Like the elder has a stomp move. And he also has the roots, right? If you get too close to him, he's going to stomp and he's going to spawn the roots. And if those roots whack you, you're done. I lost my um, Trials of Tear speed run to the Elder. I didn't make a bow. I just had a spear, right? I was like, dude, I can probably just fight him. Dude, he spawned the roots. The root hit me, stunned me, and then he stomped on me and killed me. I literally got stun locked. I couldn't do anything. If I had had the bow, I could have just kept my distance and just pepped him with some shots maybe made some fire arrows call it a day right strong weapon it gives you the range you need can give you the damage you need like it's a it's a play style on and it's all on its own right especially the next biome you get the root armor set bows are usable right bows are strong s tier weapon okay and that's the black forest okay uh the razor knife here is an interesting one um Again, uh, this is like hard to make, right? You got to get, you have to get the, um, my ear is not having it today. Um, you have to get the, uh, the abyssal, right? Uh, and that's annoying. And it, honestly, like if I'm making that, I'm making the harpoon before I make this. Like, I tried it out, right? It's a knife. Uh, and we know how I feel about knives. So, D tier. Okay, now we're getting into some good stuff here. Okay? Now we are in the swamp. Okay? Well, uh, this is the middle middle of the game at the moment, right? Bone Mass is the third boss. Queen's the sixth. Okay? We're now halfway through the game. And now, apparently, we're halfway through this. So, hey, if you got all the way through this video... Maybe hit that like button for me, right? If you're watching on the stream, maybe hit the follow button, right? I do a bunch of Valheim content, right? And tier lists are great. Again, like, I want this to be an open discussion. If you comment and say, hey, like, I think you putting knives at the bottom's trash. Hey, like, you put the torch at B tier. What are you thinking? How is the bronze spear on the same tier as the torch, right? We can have this conversation. I want that conversation. But in order to have that conversation, you got to stick around, chat. You got to be here. Hit that like button, hit the sub button. Let me know when I do this again to let you know when I do this again, right? We're going to be doing this again when Ashlands comes out, right? I'm going to be streaming Ashlands when it comes out, right? If you want to see more Valheim content or you just kind of like how I'm explaining this stuff and you want to see other content from me, you got to be around to do that, man. 
And the one way to do that is hit subscribe or hit the like button so you get more of my stuff. Maybe you don't want to subscribe. Maybe you're like, hey, dude, whoa. This is the first video I've seen of you. This is the first stream I've seen of you. I don't want to fully commit like that. That's fair, man. Hit the like button, you know? Uh, and maybe some of my videos will come up a little bit more, right? Get, consume a little bit more of my content and then decide. That's your power, man. You got the power to choose that, right? But we're moving on now, okay? But let me know how you're liking this tier list so far, right? Either in the chat or in the comment section. Let me know, right? So, we got another spear here, man. And so we're in we're in the swamp. We got oozes. We got skeletons. We got certlings. We got wraiths. We have abominations, right? We have some hard-hitting enemies. Dog, I'm not using the spear, man. Like, I'm looking at this lineup of weapons. I'm not using the spear. This spear is C tier. And again, I think the only reason... Wait, is anything weak to... Dude, it's D tier. I gotta keep it a buck. I think the spear is D tier. Is anything even weak to pierce damage in the Black Forest? Let, let's look, chat. Let's look. I will. I will try and figure this out with you. There's one enemy that might be weak to it. And it's Draugr. Let's see if Draugrs are weak to Pierce. Simon says... No! They're not! Their only weakness... They don't have a weakness. They're resistant to fire and immune to poison. Chat, the spear's bad. The spear is bad. It's single target... You have to throw it and then retrieve it, right? If this, if you could do, if there were like enchantments in this game, right? And if you've used the, uh, the, if you've modded in this game and you've used the enchantments and you've put recall on a spear, it would change the game. The fact that I have to throw this and then go get it is trash, right? Like, where's my sneak attack bonus when I have to still go run and retrieve it? I still have to run at the enemy to then get it. But also, like, if I'm sneaking on them and I'm now staggering them, they're going to make noise. And that's going to attract more. And that's the issue with the spear is fighting more than one person. The spear's bad. Okay? It's D tier. Again, we can have this conversation... But for right now, this is where it's at. Okay? So we have another two-handed weapon here. This is, again, now the first time we've incur we've come in contact with another two-handed weapon. That's not the Ak gear. Uh, the axe is good. The axe is good. The reason I'm putting the axe at A tier and not S tier is these S tier weapons have... You're going to see a trend I have here. Where S tier weapons are now going to not just be doing how much damage they have, right? Like, if you're in A and S tier, you're doing a couple things, right? You're having multiple attack variations, right? You're having good multiple attack variations. And what I mean by that is your secondary and your primary attacks, you can use them, right? Like, if you have, like, let's say you have the spear, right? It's not bad because you have the throw, but the throw is a hindrance, I think, more than a advantage, Okay. So you're not really going to be using the secondary attack. And also the primary attack's just kind of bad, right? You got to be really close. Sometimes you whiff a lot. It's not very good. So the S and A tier weapons, they're going to have great primary and secondary weapons that you can use interchangeably, right? The axe is very good. The two-handed axe is very strong. It has a wide AoE, right? You're hitting multiple enemies at once, right? Dealing a bunch of damage. This thing's a little slower, okay? And that's the main difference between this and the Akir, is the Akir's primary is a single target, where the Axe's is a multi-target. But it's a lot slower, and I think that's why it's actually going to be A tier. But also, this thing doesn't stagger, right? With the Akir being S tier, that's because... And, like, also, we're just doing this, right? We don't have to talk about this. This is where this is, right? We, we can... I'm going to be just talking about it, so we might as well just get that out of the way, okay? This thing's S tier. Because, again, you still have the stagger damage, man. You can just Beyblade and get guaranteed double, if not triple, stagger damage, man. So, like, the axe is, like, okay. I like the fact that the axe's primary is multiple AoE and the secondary is the poke. Like, it makes sense why the Akiers isn't. 
But like the Akira's primary being single target is kind of a hindrance. And I think that's why the axe kind of creeps up on it, right? Like I understand. I think uh honestly, like the axes are some of my favorite types, right? I prefer the axe over the Akir. The Akir is very strong with the stagger damage, and I think that's why it's it is like the better weapon. But personal playstyle wise, I like the axe because the swing, like it hits so hard. But then also, like, you have the little poke that does the decent damage you need to just to finish off an enemy, right? Pause. It gives you the little damage, sorry, it gives you the little damage you need, um, and it's solid. It's a fast poke. It doesn't do a lot of stamina. You can kind of just, like, spam it. Sometimes it staggers them. It's a solid weapon, man. Solid weapon A tier, okay? Uh, then you have the Iron Bow. Uh, solid weapon. I think it's an S tier weapon. Again, like, ranged, having be able to, like, close the gap. Oh! Uh, being able to close the gap with a bow. I gotta change my hat, I think. I think this hat's just, like, not, not it. I think this hat's just not it, chat. We're gonna go to a, a normal hat. We're growing my hair out, chat, so the hair game is pretty bad at the moment. Okay. Little wardrobe change. So, um, yeah, you're closing the gap with a bow. Like, this this thing's great. The bow's fantastic, right? Great damage. You're getting sneak attack damage if you attack them before they see you, which is huge. Like, that's big damage, man. Hold on, I gotta see myself, chat. How are we looking? Oh, this is bad. Chat, this is trash. Holy. Okay. Okay, there we go. Does this look bad, chat? Do I look bad in a backwards hat? Chat, I don't think I like this. Chat, I don't think I'm feeling this. What am I going to do? I guess we just rock the no hat, huh? We're just going to rep the hair? Chat, we're just going to rep the hair. We'll send it. Whatever. Anyway. Closing the gap with the bow. Great stuff. It's great stuff. It's a good weapon. Like, again, like, you're carrying multiple weapons. I recommend that. The bow's gonna be something you carry. Oh, chat, you can't hear the music this whole time. That's insane. I'm over here jamming. Uh, but honestly, I'm probably fine with that, because I probably want to do my own music for the video. So it's fine. Uh, anyway. Uh, the bow's great. I don't think I have to talk about that anymore. Uh, this is a tool. It's C tier. Uh, hold on, let me think. Uh, yeah, you could use this against the Abomination. So it's C tier. If there wasn't anything that was uh, weak to slash damage, it would be D tier, but we're putting it at C tier. It's better than the spear. Mace. Oof. For the biome. Okay, this is tough. Because I want to put this at A tier. But I think for the biome, this weapon is insane. For the same reason that this weapon's so strong. I think for the biome itself, because I'm doing it like that, it's S tier, man. Like, the mace in the... The iron mace in the swamp. You're coasting through the swamp, right? Again, like, to the same point I made earlier with this, like, a majority of the mobs you're fighting in the swamp are weak to bludgeon. So, like, the fact that you have a blunt object just smacking them, this thing carries. This is probably the best weapon in the swamp, man. Like, I'm gonna do this. Like, it's probably the best weapon in the swamp. It's it, This is gonna be predominantly the weapon you use. The only time you're swapping is if you're fighting an Abomination, or if you're fighting a Draugr. Which, I mean, even the Draugr, you could probably just cave him in. Like, whatever, you just keep swinging, man. But the, again, the secondary, the secondary attack of this weapon is super strong. I think that's why I am okay with this in S tier. Because again, the primary and the secondary attacks are useful. Being able to fully charge and wind up and go for, like, the uppercut with this weapon? Chunks! You are one-tapping enemy. Like, this will one-tap oozes... Will one tap skeletons? You bring this back into the by like the uh, and any areas that have skeletons, damn away. 
Like, I think we're going to see how apparent bludgeon damage is, especially with the new biome. Like, the Ashlands biome is looking like it's going to have more skeletons and stuff. And if they're weak to bludgeon, man, oh my god. The Frostner is still going to be carrying. I'm telling you, chat, right now, the Frostner is, like, probably the best weapon in the game right now. Like, the spirit damage, the slow damage, and now the ice damage being so powerful in the Ashlands. This thing is now usable in, like, every biome. Like, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. The Froster is insane, okay? Uh, but no, the, the this bludgeon weapon's insane. It's so good. Uh, Swords S tier. Same reason. Uh, great AoE, great single target damage, great range. All around solid weapon. If you run this with a shield, you're a menace, man. Like, you're having a great time. You're a really powerful Viking, okay? Now, Stink Bombs, here's the thing. I don't use stink bombs, okay? I've never really used them. Um, They're not bad. Um, It's interesting they're on this list. I haven't really thought of this. I'm putting it a B tier. The reason I'm putting it B tier, kind of for the same reason as the torch, and I think that's why I like it here, is it's something you're probably gonna, it's something you can carry, right? This is it. It's not gonna be your primary weapon, right? That's the obvious, right? Uh, but like this being in your inventory, it gives you something to throw, right? Like you're you come into an area, there's a bunch of enemies or something like that. Throw this, man. It's gonna deal good damage to everything, right? Or if you have an advantage, like if you're in the mines. Right, and you kind of have like an overhead view, and you can just kind of like throw these at them as they come up. That's good damage, man. That's something that a lot of these can't do, right? You don't have to go retrieve this. It's a it's a one time use, right? So you make a bunch of these, you throw a bunch of them. It's great damage. It's great damage. It's beats her. It's it's solid. You know, it does its part. You throw it, it does damage. You call it a day, right? I don't think getting these is too big of a deal. Um, so just send it, man. It's solid. The Draugr Fang. So now we are, this is a hard thing because this, this technically isn't swamp. Even though like a lot of it is found in the swamp, you need silver for this. So now we are officially in mountains. Congrats, everybody. We're in mountains. So we're in the silver age. Draugr Fang, S tier. And here's why. Again, we're in the mountains now. Doug, one of the main enemies and the main boss for this is in the air. They have wings. They fly. All of these other weapons are not going to do anything. They're in the air. You need a bow. And the Draugr Fang is sick. What's the common trend, chat? What's the common trend? It has a name. It's not the it's not the silver bow. It's the Draugr Fang, right? This thing rips. It glows. It's dope, right? Like, every time I play this game and I get to the swamp and I'm kind of thinking about the swamp, I'm thinking about the mountain, I'm thinking about the Silver Age, I debate whether or not I'm making the Draugr Fang just to leave it on my back. It's just a dope weapon. Like, if there was a mod or a way in the game where you could just, like, have an item permanently sheathed on your back, like, it's just part of the armor, like, you can't use it, it just, like, sits there, It'd be the Draugr Fang. It glows, man. It's a cool looking weapon. It hits hard. Especially now they're in the like in the mountains. You're getting obsidian arrows. This thing chunks, man. Also, the poison damage. This is the first time a bow. This is the first time a bow. And I think the only time a bow does additional damage. The for just using this bow, it deals poison damage. GG chat. It's S tier. Okay? No further questions. Spears are trash. It goes here. While we're at it, do not waste your silver on this. What are we doing? What are we doing? You're going to take this to a golem? You're going to take this to a stone golem? You're going to take this knife to a giant pile of living rock? You're going to take this knife that has the range of your saliva? You're taking this to an aerial enemy? 
You're taking this to a pack of wolves? You're taking this to something that could shoot fire out of its hands? No. It's trash. It's bad. No further questions. Go ahead. I'll wait. I'll wait for somebody to tell me that the drogger, uh, the, the, um, oh my God, what is, what is this weapon called? It's literally my favorite weapon in the game. And I don't remember what they're called. One second, chat. One second, chat. Can't remember what they're called. I'm choking. That's crazy. What is this weapon called? The Flash Rippers. Fake fan, honestly. The Flash Rippers? Insane. Dude, you're talking... This is everything that the knife wants to be. Okay? It's got insane attack, a rate of fire. Like, the attack on this thing is so good. You're like, boom, 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 boom. Right? Dealing great damage. But here's the reason it's S tier. And I, I noticed this earlier. Right? I noticed this earlier, probably 30 minutes ago. Weapons that can stagger whenever they want are inherently better. For the fact that they can just do that totally changes the fight. It totally changes the fight. One on one, you're demoing anything in your path. You the secondary for the people that don't know, the secondary attack of the flesh rippers is a kick. You kick the enemy and it staggers them. And then you can run in because it's a fist, so you have no movement speed penalties. If you pair this with the Fenris armor, you are sprinting through everything and you are sprinting through your enemies because this thing does what it says it's for to do and rips through them. These weapons are insane, man. It is such a good weapon. It's close to the heart. I love me a good melee weapon. It's the first time they introduced it and they absolutely killed it. I have a pair of these in every single run in the game. If I'm playing the game, I'm building the Flesh Rippers, man. This thing slaps. They're so good. But like, my, like, probably, honestly, if I'm thinking about it. Second favorite weapon in the game. Is it number one? Yeah, it's, it's number one. Honestly, it, it takes number one spot. This is my favorite weapon in the game. And hey, this is, again, your time to get in the comments section. To get in the chat and be like, hey man, wrong. Here's why. Right? If you're just going to get in the comments section and you're just going to be like, L take. Dude's just yapping. That's not a conversation. I'm not replying to that. Right? I might. Depends how I feel. Right? I might, I might, I might stab you back a little bit. Right? But this is your time to get in and be like, hey man, like, your love for these weapons are clouding your judgment. Here's why they're bad. And maybe I'll drop it. It would have to take some pretty good convincing because the kick on stagger, stagger on kick, the rate of fire of these weapons, the absolute madman these weapons do to people, it's S tier. Froster S tier. There's no reason the Froster's not S tier, okay? You got a bludgeon weapon for the mountains, okay? Uh, you need this against trolls. I'm sorry, you need this against uh, the stone golems. Uh, what else is this good against? It's good against the, um, the Pyromancers. I forget what they're called. Uh, but the Pyromancers in the meadow, in the mountains. This is solid against, right? Uh, and as I stated earlier, this weapon is still going to be usable in the newest biome. This is the fourth, but you make this in the fourth biome. This is going to be usable in the seventh biome biome let that sink in bro you use this thing in the mountains you use this thing in the plains you use this thing in the ashlands and or, i'm sorry in the mistlands and you use it in the ashlands for the next four biomes this weapon is usable 
And not only is it usable, it's a menace. This immediately replaces all of your bludgeon weapons and is just a powerhouse. This dealing spirit damage for the enemies that are weak to spirit damage, bye-bye, you're gone. But also the fact that it slows. So again, weapons that have passives or the ability to stagger are top tier. It doesn't matter if they're weak to frost or weak to bludgeon. You hit somebody with this and they're immediately slowed down. That's huge. If you're in a wave of enemies, right? You swing this a couple times, slow them all down, get out. This weapon gives you the ability to do that. That's insane, man. That's so strong. This weapon single-handedly lets you take control of whatever you're fighting. This weapon is, like, honestly, some of the best, like, the best weapon to use in the Mistlands, man. You Again, you're in the fourth biome, you are using the weapon on the latest enemies that just came out. Like, using this against a Seeker or a Seeker soldier, Seekers are an absolute menace, man. Being able to slow them down and control the fight with these is insane. But no, the Flush Rippers are also doing that same thing. Not only are they, like, they, they're not slowing them down, they're fully stopping them and staggering them so you can take damage. That's why this is better, right? Let's make that abundantly clear. This weapon's great, this weapon's better. It takes more stamina to do what this thing does, but, like, movement, uh, movement speed penalty, no movement speed penalty. These are better. I don't have to defend that anymore. But this weapon's, like, probably one of the best weapons in the game. Like, easily top three weapons in the game. It's insane the longevity of this weapon has. Right? Because you're making it so early on. Sure, if you made the Krom in the fucking meadows, like, yeah, this thing's gonna carry you. But no, you're making it in the mountains. And then it carries you for the next four biomes. Like, you have to think about how crazy this weapon is, right? For it to have that long of a longevity... Even to the point that, like, the newest biome, this thing's going to carry. This is going to be the weapon you use next to this in the next upcoming biome. And maybe that's just, like, maybe this weapon is just too strong. Or maybe, like, there's too many things that are weak to uh, Frost, Spirit, and Blunt. But, like, regardless, dude, the weapon sits at S tier. There's no way you can't agree with that, okay? But that concludes Mountain Biome. Collapse in chat. Likes on YouTube, right? Okay. Plains biome. This is where it gets real, right? The plains biome is... It's a hard one, okay? The plains biome's legit. Plains biome's my favorite biome, okay? You get great resources. You get great weapons. You get okay armor. It's a different it's a different topic the armor should be better in the planes we're not going to talk about it here we're, we're doing a weapons tier list okay the weapons you get in the planes are phenomenal they're great weapons and we're starting off with the heck here man again it's the same reason it's a polar man and when you're dealing with villages of enemies being able to spin aoe because here's the thing right fullings are one of the worst enemies to fight against they're really fast, they hit really hard, and they run so much, right? If there were skins in this game, if they ever did like a reskin or people made mods or whatever, Fullings would have full marathon attire. They'd have the sweatband, right? They'd have the, the thing that holds your phone, right? And they're in way too tight pants, right? And two revealing tank tops. They just run, right? So being able to, when they do inevitably get close to you, stun them, and then just slam them in the mouth, this weapon's S tier, man. Also, another thing to consider, right? Uh, the Loxes. Loxes are one of like the craziest enemies in the game. Probably one of my favorite mobs in the game, right? Loxes are great. They give you a fantastic cape. Uh... They give you a fantastic food source. I mean, again, you're using lox meat till the end of the game. Lox meat is so good, right? Uh, but they hit hard, right? And they are weak to what? Pierce. What does the Akir do? Pierce. 
phenomenal weapon. Not only for the biome, but the following biomes. This gun, this, the weapon's great. It's fantastic. We have a consistent trend here. We're keeping it that way, okay? We don't have to talk about this. We have a consistent trend here. We're keeping it that way. It's underwhelming, man. Like, it doesn't matter that they deal more damage. They are still being held back by the, the items themselves, right? They're still being held back by the items themselves. The only reason this isn't D tier is because, like, these are tools, right? And, like, for the meadows, like, you would rather... I'd rather a weapon than, a, like, non-weapon, right? But going forward where we have t like items that have or we have biomes that have fantastic weapons, I'm not going to use a tool, man. Come on. No. S tier sword, right? Dog like and like I'm sensing a pattern here. Like maybe the sword should be A tier. Maybe the sword should be A tier. And you know what? Here I am thinking about it. But how is the sword not S tier, man? Like, is... <sighs> because I think where... So here's my like here's my thought on the S tier weapons, right? I've already said it a couple times. The S tier weapons have the ability to either stagger whenever they want or have, like, external factors. Whether that be, like, the Flash Rippers where they can stagger, but there's also no movement speed. The Frostner, like, can just freeze stuff whenever it wants. Like... <sighs> Shoot, chat. I think the sword's A tier. But like it's a one-handed weapon. So is the Frostner. Chat, I think I'm changing this. Like if you stay tuned this long. I think I'm doing this. I think I'm moving the iron and the black metal sword to A tier. I'm also moving this to A tier. And here's why, again. Like, it's a solid weapon, but all, the S-tier weapons have, like, the external factor, right? The Akir Flesh Ripper, like, all of these weapons have... This is still going to stay because for the biome, it's insane. Like, it's so strong for the biome it's in. It doesn't matter that it doesn't have, like, any added effects of, like, stun or slow or anything like that. It's an absolute menace for the biome, right? A majority of the things are weak to bludgeon. I don't have to talk about that anymore. The swords are A-tier. It's a solid weapon, but it doesn't... There's, like... It's got great AoE. It's got great damage, right? It's a single arm. You can have shields. But these things have all of that and have added factors of either slowing or staggering. So I think that's where I'm sitting with that. This weapon's trash. Talk about an underwhelming weapon, and I think that's why I'm putting it D-tier, is because, like, it's so underwhelming. I thought this weapon was going to be so good for how, like, stupid mosquitoes are. Like, this weapon should be better. It's the Needler, right? Again, like, it's, it's the Porcupine, I'm sorry. It's got a name, right? This weapon should be better. They gave it a name, chat. They gave it a name. You have to kill... So many of one of the most annoying enemies in the entire game. And that's what you get. That's what you get. Dog, I'd rather the torch. I'd rather the torch. At least I get fire damage. Weapons trash. And here we go, right? We have finally made it to... Wait, what is this? Is this the silver sword? Uh, silver sword's A tier. Sorry, it was out of order. Also, Crystal Battle Axe is uh, Meadows. Uh, it's got Spirit Damage. It's A tier. Uh, it's A tier. The reason it's A tier, uh, again. Oh, actually, it's S tier. Uh, the Poke Staggers. Pretty sure the Poke Staggers. It's A. It's S tier. Also, it's badass. But great range of mo like great range of attack. It's got a great secondary attack that staggers. It's got the additional Spirit Damage. It, ch it checks all of the boxes that. Um, we want an S tier weapon, okay? Let me just double check that that was everything. This is all meadows. Yes, okay. Or this is all. Oh, sorry. Uh, ooh. Wait, isn't this is uh? No, this is missiles. That's missiles. Okay. A lot of weapons in missiles, chat. This is a lot of weapons in missiles. Um, and this is like 
this is the current meta, right? We're now talking about this is the latest. These are the latest weapons that came to the game. They're going to be the strongest, right? We'll see how they actually compare towards the like later, right? Towards Ashlands, towards the Deep North. Are we still going to be using these weapons? I hope so. I hope so, because again, like they're giving names to weapons, and some of these weapons are very fun and very awesome. And I hope that they do stand the test of time in this game. Do I think they will? No. I don't think they will. Uh, and for the sheer fact that a lot of these don't have um, some factors that are carrying other ones, right? Like the Flesh Rippers, no movement speed penalty. Stagger on kick. The reason the Flesh Rippers probably just won't be as useful is probably just going to be because like they just don't deal enough damage. Like There's just going to be weapons that deal more damage. Uh, I'm hoping that the Flesh Rippers get a older brother in the Ashlands. Like maybe we get like fire knuckles or something like that. Dude, give me some fire gauntlets, please. Oh my god. If Ashlands comes out with like fire gauntlets, like it's gonna be my favorite game of all time. Like, oh my god, that'd be so amazing. I'm not gonna get my hopes up though. Anyway, get yeah, but, but, uh, but honestly, like please, 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 Valheim. Give me an update to the Flesh Rippers. That's a that's a video. I gotta make that. I gotta make that I'm live on here. Video on updating Flesh Rippers. And then I'm gonna put Fire Gauntlets. That's a video I'll make. You saw it here live first. Anyway. Uh, yeah, like it's, it's going to be, it's the, the secondary factors or the additional factors that make these weapons S tier, like stagger damage, like slowing enemies, like, uh, having a great 360 AOE hitting multiple targets, right? Dealing solid damage. It's things like that, that are going to carry weapons into later things. You see that with the Frostner. It's got spirit damage. It's got frost damage. It slows every single enemy it hits, except bosses, right? Dude, like, that's what's going to carry these weapons. And uh, some of these weapons just don't have that, unfortunately. Uh, or the ones that, like, the, the secondary things that they have just aren't good enough, unfortunately. So we'll see what happens. I could be wrong. Hopefully I am. But hopefully I'm not, because I want the weapons to be better. And I don't have to use all the weapons. But I, I would like the option to. You know? But again, we'll see. Arbalisk is S tier. Uh, the Arbalisk is a phenomenal weapon. My only issue with the Arbalisk is that it's so good that you don't use bows anymore. Right? I think that's my main issue. And again, I've never really tried this bow. Maybe it's good. Uh, and, you know, uh, I might, I might not rate this bow... Because I've never used it, and I don't think that's fair to do. Uh, for the most part, I've used all of these weapons, though. Uh, this is... I don't know. the But the Arbalisk, dude, it hits so hard. It hits so hard. But also the knockback, the stun damage, the Arbalisk is the move. This weapon is so strong. It's a must-have weapon for going further into things. Like, you take this weapon... At all in the past, right? You're one tapping like everything, right? It just does so much damage. This is a must have weapon for the Jal. You need this when you're fighting the Jal. They have such a high health pool, right? You have to hit that critical spot. You need this weapon. Phenomenal weapon. So good to have. When you're fighting the Queen, being able to pep her with this, dude, like I was a mage in my main playthrough, right? I ran this and I ran. The mage weapons, right? Which we'll touch on. We're going to touch on the mage weapons. Don't you worry. We're saving those for the end. Because mage weapons are fantastic. Okay? Um, I ran this while my Magicka was respawning. You hit him a couple times with the Arbalisk. A couple 200 damage. It's a great weapon. We don't. There's no reason we need to talk about that anymore. Uh, Bio Bomb, same thing as this. Great to have in your kit. Not a necessity. Nothing crazy. Spear, trash. The reason it's uh, the real reason this is also still in D tier is like very rarely do seekers come in groups of one. They're always in packs, right? 
and they're not weak to pierce. Nothing in the biome is weak to pierce. I don't think. Maybe the like the, the humanoid guys, maybe the Draugr or the uh the uh Dwyverg or whatever they're called, right? Maybe. This weapon's not it, chat. It's not it. I'm sorry. I haven't given this a fair try. And if you've tried this and it is really good and like maybe like because it's carapace, it uh, they they actually take good damage. Let me know. Let me know and I can come back to this. And also I'll I'll, I'll do my part too. I will try this weapon out and come back and maybe do this. And maybe that's a video. Poggers. Uh, okay. Uh, the demolisher. I think B tier is fine. Maybe C tier, honestly. Like it's a solid weapon. It's really good for like the ticks, and I think that's why I'll put it at B tier. Um. I've seen people use a strategy where you hide behind a wall and you can actually fight the queen with a demolisher without actually taking any damage. So it's not bad, um, but dude, I don't know. It doesn't have it doesn't have the extra stuff we need. Like it's not what I'm looking for. Uh, this weapon is S tier, man. Pull arms, pull arms. So now, the, here's the thing, right? This is why this is actually one of the best weapons in the game. It has everything that the pole arm has with the added factor of it's got lightning damage. This thing's stunning, has great range, great 360 coverage, and has lightning damage. Which, like, we don't know, could eventually help. I don't know what is weak to lightning damage in this game. Uh, but like, dude, it has everything the Akir has and more. S tier. S tier. Krom? I want to put this S tier. I really want to put the Krom S tier. Uh, can I put this, can I make this bigger? This is also S tier. I'm just, uh. I'm putting this down here just so you can see, uh, just so my camera doesn't cut it off. Okay, this is also still S tier to the chat. Um, I just don't know if I can like make them, if I can make this smaller. Can I just have it not have a name? I can't. Okay, whatever. Uh, do I put the Chrome S here? I think I have to say no. Because, like, I think it's A tier. Again, like, it, it. I have to stick to why I'm putting these other items in S tier. It doesn't have anything that can do these things that they can. It doesn't have an effect that lasts. It doesn't do poison. It doesn't do frost. It doesn't slow. It doesn't do spirit. It doesn't stun. It's a sick weapon, man. But again, that's that's A tier, right? A tiers are good weapons. And that's the thing to consider. A tiers are really good weapons. I think I'm going to move this down here as I'm talking about this, okay? A tiers are good weapons. Oh, so then I can just do this, right? Uh, No, we'll leave this for now, actually. A tier is a good weapon. S tier is that above, right? Like, that's how I'm considering S tier. S tier are A tier weapons that have another factor that push them into S tier. Whether that be stun, whether that be uh, like special effects, right? Krom doesn't have that. Krom's a great weapon. I love running the Krom. I love two-handed weapons in this game. Krom is an absolute menace. It doesn't have the effect we're looking for. This is actually B tier. The Axe, the Jotun's Bane, I'm putting it B tier. Yes, it's an axe. Yes, it's a tool. It's got poison damage. Not bad. I, again, 
Haven't really tried this a lot. Maybe it's A tier. I definitely don't think it's S tier. But I'm going to say B tier. I think it's solid. I think it's usable. The effect helps it a lot. It's a cool weapon. Uh, it's the best axe in the game right now, right? We got to be using that for trees, I guess. A little weird. But it's fine. But at the end of the day, it's still a tool. It's not going to be the weapon you're bringing with you, okay? The Miss Walker. I still think it's A tier. I don't think it's quite S tier. The spirit damage is just another damage type. The fact that it glows, I don't think is good enough to put it in S tier, man. Like, I it's I think it's A tier. It's again, there's nothing wrong with something being an A tier. It's a solid weapon. It does its job. Is it S tier though? Does it have that thing that pushes it a little bit over? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, something in Hattie, Joan and Joe and Hattie. What is this? Skull and Hattie. Sorry. Chat. I think this is a C tier weapon. Uh, maybe B tier. Is it as bad as a tool? No. Is it as good as the sword? No. It's a fast weapon. It's got a cool lunge. Great idea. I love it. I wish it was executed maybe a little bit better because they're just they don't they do not compare to these weapons. They don't compare to these weapons. How are you going to compare this to a sword? Like this is a two-handed thing, right? How are you going to compare this to the crom? I'm giving up my left hand for a shield for less damage. I don't think that's it, man. Like they just they do not and again it's probably more of like the stealth speed build, like crit build, sure, but they are not going to compare to some of these weapons, man. If I'm giving up my secondary hand, you either have to have great block potential or really make up for it a damage like the Krom does. Like, the Krom does both, right? But, like, you got close range. I think it's a decent weapon. It's bad. Like, it's not terrible. It's not a, it's not a tool, right? But I think it's B tier. I think it's low B tier, right? I think that's that's what it comes down to. Um, do I put the sledge lower? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling C tier, honestly. Oh, this is the iron sledge. How did I mess that up? Uh, my bad, chat. Uh, iron sledge. B tier. C tier? I think C tier. Like, the, the reason the demolisher is higher is because, like, there's some enemies that this is really good for, like ticks uh, and the little scarabs that you get in the dungeons. There's nothing really in the in the, in the the swamp that, like, this is, like, extravagant at. Like, sure, the goo might be better, um, but you're just going to use that. You're just going to use the mace. Uh, I'm not rating this, like I said, because I haven't used it. Um, if I were to rate it, it's probably going to be A tier. It's probably a solid weapon. So, we now get into the mage items. I think the mages in this game are broken. I think mages are so strong in this game. Uh, do I think they need a nerf? Absolutely not. Don't touch them. I think they're great. Uh, the necromancer skull, kind of underwhelming. I'm going to say, I'm going to put this at B tier. Um, it takes health and it takes a lot of, um, it takes a lot of magicka to use as well. You have to have a high magicka, but something like 80 magicka, right? Minimum to cast this. And it halves your health. Uh, it's a great idea. I still recommend running it. Like you just pop it before a fight, pop a heal potion, then run in, right? It's fine, especially when you level it up, you spawn more than one. It's good. It's solid. Having other adds that fight for you is okay. Um, I see something else coming out in the same realm that's just going to be way stronger, right? I think the fact that their skeletons kind of hinders them. I think if something eventually came out where you're summoning, uh, you're summoning seekers, maybe you're summoning bigger brutes. Uh, I think if you upgraded this and, like, 
the final upgrade, instead of having multiple skeletons, uh, you summoned like a, um, a, uh, what's that skeleton? A, uh, what's the toxic skeleton? Man, I am spacing on names today. Aggressive creatures. The second I see it, I'm going to remember it. Rancid Remains. Uh, this guy, chat, for people that don't know what I'm talking about. This guy? Like the higher rarity uh, skeletons, right? If you summoned that guy instead of like normal skeletons, like something a little bit bigger, this could be better. But I think the fact that um, the fact that it just doesn't and it's just more skeletons. I, I've seen people max like level. If you max level necromancy, this thing is kind of crazy. Um, but I think the give and take isn't that crazy. Um, I don't I don't know if it's A tier. I think it's B. I think it's middle of the pack. It's not it's not bad to use. Um but compared to some of these other weapons, it's nothing crazy. Uh, the protection. I'm going to say S tier, honestly. I think this is a very solid thing. And again, like, this is hard to say because, like, again, my requirements for S tier are kind of, like, going outside the box. Um, having a little bit more to give than just the weapon itself. Um, but I think this still does a fantastic job. Like, mitigating damage is huge if you're playing at a party and your mage is running this you have you know how powerful this is like when you're fighting the queen i was the mage in our build right we had a guy who was the tank i was a mage and we had another guy that was a little bit it was a cross mage he was kind of like a rogue uh i'd say probably i guess more of like a warlock where he was casting spells um but he also was dealing some damage he was kind of like a middle armor type of guy um being able to group up, I cast a protection spell, and then they both run in. Huge. Great for you, too, as the mage. Being able to negate some damage. Um, huge. Being able to negate some damage. So, like, if you do end up taking damage, because you got mage armor on, you're a little bit more squishy, right? You're not, you're not, you're taking more damage. Being able to negate some of that damage, massive. Massive. Being able to not get stunned, huge. Life or death. This weapon's fantastic. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to put the, I think I'm putting the ice at A, the fire at S tier. The fire at S tier. Okay, well, let's talk about the ice one first. The reason the ice one is A tier is merely for its casting, right? What I mean by that is the fire is an AoE one shot. You shoot the fireball. It hits, it explodes, it does an AoE. Really good single target, really good multi-target. The Ice Staff is like in the middle of both, right? Its single target is okay, but because it sprays out like a buckshot, a lot of your, a lot of the like Ice Missiles are missing, right? And for something that like I'm using Magicka to cast... It doesn't feel good for my spells to be missing. But it slows, and like when they do hit, it does good damage, right? So it's solid. It's going to be the weapon used in the next biome. I'm not going to be using the Fire Staff, probably, in the Ashlands, right? They're ne they negate fire. They're not going to take any damage. I'm going to have to use this weapon. Am I happy about that? Not really. Honestly. Like, maybe this is a B-tier weapon, but I think because it slows and it still does good damage, I think it's still a solid weapon. Um, But the fact that, like, the Flame Spear or the Flame Staff has that single target, like, I can just hum a fireball. Like, this thing's range is, like, you try to use the Ice Staff at range, you don't. You just can't. Like, you can't use it at range. The Buckshot's too wide. You can't hit anything. I can snipe anything from like any distance with the fire staff if i get the angle right the range on this thing's insane and it hits hard right if you bring the fire staff into any other biome this thing shreds like again like we're gonna take a break from it in ashlands 
But then we're right back to the fire staff in the deep north. That thing's going to melt. Are you kidding me? Literally, it's going to melt. Like, you're going to need it. I'm hoping there's some sort of upgrade. Like, I, I'm i hoping that the fire staff isn't, like, that. Like, that. that's not it. That there's either going to be an upgraded fire staff or something that does, like, still fire damage or something. Maybe it's a flamethrower. Who knows? Um, I'm excited to see what mages to come. I, I love mages in video games. It's one of the main reasons I play certain games. This was the first game that I got into that didn't have a mage element that I still played. And I wish I had recorded my initial reaction when learning that this game was implementing mage stuff because I lost my mind. It's really what made me fall in love with this game a second time was when they introduced mages and totally changed the landscape of this game. Like, it is a totally different game to be going from melee to mages, and I think they did it so well. I love the armor they're coming out with. I love the weapons they have so far, and I mean, these are just the first ones we got, right? They introduced all of these in the same biome. There's only more to come, and they're only going to be stronger, and I love that. My one caveat with this game is that there isn't maging sooner, right? You can't become a mage until you're at the latest biome. That's what sucks for me. They're really strong, and I love that. But, like, I've done mods where I've used the Eichther Staff, right? I've made videos on that. Check those out. The Eichther Staff is an absolute menace. A Lightning Staff, first of all, love. You know I love me my Lightning, right? If you know, you know. But being able to, like, be a mage early on, not only to upgrade those, like, mage armors, right? Like, levels in this game are super strong. So, like, if you could start leveling up mages sooner so that way when they get to the met uh, the mislins they're not at zero arcane casting right they're gonna be so strong right but i don't know I, I wish they implemented it sooner i'm happy it's here in the game i'm not gonna complain about it i'm happy it's here now i'm really looking forward to how it's going but that's my tier list guys that's my tier list let me know in the comment section, in the chat on my live stream, hit me up on my comments in any of my socials. Let me know if you agree, disagree. Let me know if I broke your heart with some of the weapons you like. Let me know if you are absolutely 100% agreeing with this. Let me know, chat. Let me know if you want more content like this. I love doing content like this. I am I pride myself on having a good amount of knowledge on this game. Um, so I'm happy to do stuff like this. I'm ha happy to have that open conversation with other players to know where this is at. Okay? Chat, that's it for that. YouTube, thanks for sticking by. If you watch this entire thing, I absolutely love you. Let me know you liked it by hitting the like button or getting in the comment section to have this conversation with me. Thanks again for watching. Later.